Sycamore View. My name is Rachel Galbraith. My husband Chris and I and our family have been a part of the Sycamore View family for nearly 30 years and it's been a huge blessing to be a part of a church that loves God and loves people. This month at Sycamore View we're going to focus on what it means to courageously anticipate the movement of God. But what does that mean to courageously anticipate the movement of God? Sometimes I think if we pray to God and we ask Him for something and we get what we want and that happens often enough, then we feel like we can anticipate the movement of God. But that's really flawed thinking because that puts the focus on us and what we think rather than on Him and who He is. In order to anticipate the movement of God, we first have to believe that God really is who He says He is, that He loves us fully and completely, and that He will do what He says He will do. And then we can begin to anticipate the movement of God. So what are some practical ways that we can anticipate the movement of God? We can anticipate the movement of God through prayer and fasting, through acts of service, and through reflection and meditation. This month we're going to be able to have the opportunity to put some of those very things into practice. Here's what we have this month. Our team asked the elders to give us one thing that our church could pray over during the month of December so that we could put into practice what it means to seek and anticipate the movement of God. Here is what our elders gave us. Father, as we enter the Christmas season and celebrate the coming of Jesus, we anticipate your movement. Through the Holy Spirit, empower every disciple at Sycamore View to act on at least one opportunity in at least one relationship to share Christ's love in a way that brings restoration and healing. In the name of Jesus, amen. You will hear this prayer referenced throughout the month of December in service, on social media, and on the Awakening page. Please use this prayer in any way that you can. Write it down, put it in your prayer journal, pray it once, pray it every day, whatever works best for you. And let us work together as a church to believe that God will move and anticipate His answer to this prayer. In His Word, God taught us to seek Him through prayer. And fasting is often used as a way to seek His movement. In the month of December, we will have some specific times and opportunities for prayer and fasting. We will have another grocery giveaway on Saturday, December 12th. If you would like to participate with that, please contact the church office. Join us Wednesday, December 9th for Wednesday Night Live, where we will be encouraged to hear how God is already on the move in our church, in our city, our nation, and our world. Not only will we be encouraged to hear how God is moving in a time when we might wonder where He is in all of this chaos, but we might actually find some new ways that we can serve as well. Our third Wednesday Night Live, December 16th, we will explore what it means to develop a culture of anticipation within our own church. December 23rd will be our community Christmas service. Please join us at 6.30 p.m. in person or virtually for a fantastic night of worship. Reflecting on how God moved throughout Scripture reminds us of His faithfulness. Download our calendar from the Awakening page at sycamoreview.org backslash awakening. Here you will find a weekly calendar with one Old Testament Scripture and one New Testament Scripture for you to meditate on during the week. Throughout the Old Testament, the Israelites built altars. They built altars to commemorate an encounter that they had with God. At these altars, they would worship God and they would remember what He had done for them. Sycamore View, we're going to build an altar. 2020 has been a difficult year to say the least, but God has moved in some powerful ways despite all of the chaos. Starting December 6th, there will be stones available for families and individuals to pick up. Please take your stone and write a word or a phrase on the stone that reminds you how God worked in 2020 in your life. Then take a picture with your stone and email those pictures to awakening at sycamoreview.org. Your images will then be made into a video that will be shown on December 27th. The stones will then be collected later to build an actual altar on our campus at Sycamore View to remind us that God loves us, He is who He says He is, and He is faithful even during a pandemic and much unrest. Anticipation is a powerful biblical concept. When David fought Goliath, he ran into the battle, fully expecting that God would move on his behalf. Let us have the faith and anticipation that we would run to God, fully expecting Him to move.